welcome back to go and tell we back with another video and on today's episode of future baby mama drama we got two different stories now today the bigger story we could talk about is how britney is back in the news back in the in the blogs over some drama with future now if you ask me the girl is a attention whore i think she's trying to promote her business as you see now she has pray for her and pray for him shirts and she's pushing her clothing line now i don't see any issue of somebody promoting their brand when something happens in their life that's trending or something a mistake that they made but at the expense of your kids and and bringing in your baby daddy calling you a hoe in front of your son and all that just to get promotion for your clothing line i think that's just doing too much and i think that's exactly what she did so that wasn't enough so then she bumped it up to the next level saying that future got her business instagram taken down and she posted a recording of future talking about one of his other baby mama's joy now listen to this somebody that girl just never look at them the same way like i don't look at them i don't look at joy somebody like i look, look at you joy was me and joy always been friends super cool like people don't even know that me and her was just always been super cool to the point where we still could be cool right now to, I don't look at her like somebody I love. I never loved her like that. She know that I never loved her. I never been like told her I love you. You know what I'm saying? I never told this girl. I never told Joy I love you. But we had a good ass friendship. You know what I mean? I ain't never said I love her like got that. I love you. I love. Now I don't know the point of why she would put that clip out, but she did, and uh, it got a response, and it got a response that I don't think she really wanted. So she said this not my intentions to bring no one else into it i don't have an issue with her the thing is he want to be even more petty and get my business page deactivated you do something to me i'm gonna do something back just sending a warning to leave me alone simple so after her comments neighborhood talk made a post and people in the comments went in on her one person said i mean he probably never loved any of them so it's really not anything crazy of him to say facts but how did that hurt future at all he don't give up facts it's giving me bitter baby mama she needs to leave joy alone facts but why would she think that would actually hurt him future don't care at this point it's just messy joy don't have nothing to do with y'all beef like come on and another person says but you recorded that convo and kept it this is literally why i don't f with people can't trust nobody now i 100 percent agree with these comments and she could have said anything i don't know why she brought joy into it but like i said she didn't like the backlash that people were talking about her it's calling her obsessed calling her her a hater saying that she needs to get over future and she made another post she said just want to say i apologize to joy for bringing her into something that had nothing to do with her there is no beef as a woman it's never my intention to try and tear down another woman y'all know i worked so hard and messing with my business had me pissed but i could have posted something different and used better judgment i'm just sick of being bullied by this man but when i speak up for me and my son i'm a bad person that's unfair and y'all don't know the half i just want to be left alone again joy my apologies if that hurts you but it's still f him now she did apologize and i give her props for that but the damage is already done joy's son is gonna probably grow up hear that recording or see these little headlines and say man my, my dad never even loved my mom and that's that's really not a good look for a kid but let's move on to the next baby mama drama this is with baby mama number eight eliza now later this month they're gonna be heading to court for child support payments <sighs> so the judge originally ordered them to to come out with a mediation or a settlement and it didn't work so then eliza wanted fifty three thousand a month for child support and future wasn't with it and future offered a crazy counter offer of a thousand dollars a month and that didn't sit well with her so then the judge looked at both cases and said he suggested maybe 3200 a month and eliza wasn't having that and so now they're going back to court to try and come up with some kind of agreement in the middle 
this looks like it's gonna get real messy because she's subpoenaing all his record label contracts and business deals to see about all money that he has coming in. But to end this, I wanna hear from y'all. What do y'all think about baby drama number one and baby drama number two? And my advice for guys and girls who haven't got into a serious relationship and don't have kids, before you jump into a relationship, look at all the signs. Same thing with PJ Washington and Brittany Renner. All the signs were there. And the same thing with all these girls that are getting pregnant by Future. They already know what kind of person Future is. So that's my little advice. But until next time, deuce.